Yes, I've been I've been thinking a bit. I had a conversation recently with uh, a couple of my friends about the creative, and it, and it, it sort of led me to this weird philosophical hypothesis about the creative mind. It, it is deep. It's very deep, but. I've been thinking about this, this weird mind that seems to be able to make all of these weird connections and sometimes, you know, it's enlightenment or the idea that we can, we can actually change the world with some of these crazy thoughts. We can, you know, we can actually come up with new science because the old science didn't work. We can just chuck science. That takes a, a fair amount of creativity to be able to do that. And even on something simple, entertainment that actually affects us and, be, and is able to is able to actually get inside our heads and remind us that we're human beings. And I think that's, that's pretty damn amazing. It seems like the creative mind is capable of reaching these amazing highs. And with that comes a cost. I know a lot of geniuses and I look around and they're all here. And every single one of them that I've had a really, if I've had a really in-depth conversation, I've noticed a trend. At some point, you have owned up and admitted that you've battled with those inner demons, with depression. And I know there are highs and lows, and there's some really awesome medical options for that. But uh, that's great if you want to squash them down and live in the mid, and that's really what you need. That's not exactly what I'm talking about. Where, where my head is on this is the idea that our middles are OK. You know, For the most part, sometimes we have a bad day and we go low but they're numb, and it's only when we're being an amazing genius or, or, or changing the world or having a bad moment that we really feel something. That's, that's the kind of people I'm talking about. And I've been thinking a lot about them, and I noticed something. They gather, whether it's online, whether it's in places like this, they show up and they share their ideas. Whether it's to perform and play or what I'm starting to notice is if you look around, in addition to all the skills you might learn, the, the poetry I might learn from you, a couple of good, well, okay, a couple of jokes I might learn from you. Uh, what not to say I have learned from you and how to say it a little more slowly. Yeah, that's, that'd be great. Just a sec. Okay. What I've, what I've learned that we also bring is this encyclopedic knowledge of coping mechanisms, ways to mitigate this thing. And it seems like if we can do that, that's the important thing. I think about the past, and that was the past time. The future is going to be our descendants' time. This is our time, and I see no reason why we can't hack the system because we're geniuses, come together and find ways to help each other sort of dodge all of this stuff that gets in the way of our greatness. I've been thinking a lot about that lately. And I'm really glad for, for places like this for that. When I first started doing this, you know, it was about stage fright and it was about trying to, to create new things. And the reality is, as I moved forward, it became about something much more important. I used to have this list. I called it the plan. And when my life really sucked, I could say, well, I'll stick to the plan and just kind of trudge along. And eventually, despite everything sucking, I would eventually realize that it was my perspective, and as my perspective improved and I kind of nosed up out of my, my depression, I could, I could get out of that. My plan has evolved because thankfully, because I was an impossible human being the first time I wrote a plan that included things like get out of bed, idiot. <laughs> Eat something, bathe once every couple of days, talk to a human being, preferably after bathing. <laughs> it, it evolved, you know, it got to be a better thing. and. I'm, I'm real crazy about this event, and if you haven't figured out why, it's because the last line item, I've got a whole bunch of don't be self-destructive, don't be a douchebag, take your positivity pill, but the very bottom of my plan is put on the most ridiculous pair of pants I can find. Good job. Thank you. Stand up on this chunk of wood and welcome everybody back for another week at the open stage. Thank you. Thank you.